position the camera here. I don't know. I think that's it. <clears throat> this is an impromptu again. Another one that is not planned that I just did on the fly because just because. <laughs> so I am um, just going over some more stuff that I picked. I um, I got more stuff from the funeral home and I know I told you guys that there was a few pieces that were too big for me to show you but um, I don't know. I just thought uh, the items were so unique and they're just so unusual that um, it would be a shame if I didn't share it with you. So I pulled the stuff out and spread it out for you so I can show it to you. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to go over the stuff that's tangible that I can actually hold and show to you. And then after that, I'm going to go over the bigger items that I got from the funeral home. So if you don't like that kind of stuff, then, um, you know, once I get to that, you can just, you know, <laughs> just jump off of here. But this wasn't anything, like I said, that I had scheduled to go live. This is just kind of a on-the-fly kind of thing. Um, this is only my second time doing it. So, um, bear with me because I'm new to this and hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. Um, and you know, I live out in the country, so my internet sometimes fudges up on me and, um, I apologize ahead of time because I can pretty much guarantee it's going to do it. I mean, that's just a given. It does it all the time. So I'm going to check the chat real quick and see, it says that I have seven people in here so let me see who's here well, wait a minute okay oh we have elderly poodle hello elderly poodle belinda carol annette fane oh hi rachel superior girl vintage thrifting adventure stephanie hi Max Ruse, hello. And I don't know if I'm missing somebody else. I'm looking, I'm looking. I think, I think I got everybody. So, I don't know. There may be other people that pop on that don't want to converse. So, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. Okay, but I'm going to get going here and start. Now, I know I posted this picture. I know I posted this picture. For sure, I posted it on Pinterest. And if you don't follow me on Pinterest, go over to Pinterest and follow me because that's where I post most of my stuff. And that's where you'll keep up to date on like things that I put in the shop and so on and so forth. So This awesome picture right here, I don't know. Let me try to get you a better view of it. Um... It's very, very faded, but it looks like a child has been pulled from drowning by their dog. Um, and it, you know, it's like a beach type setting. Something I've never seen before in my entire life. Um, you know, not normally content you would see in a photo, but um, it's definitely old. It's kind of like a cardboard type thing. Um, and it, it was like, I don't know, $12, something like that. And as soon as I seen the picture, I had to have it. Um, just because it's just so unusual. Um, and I've never, never seen anything like it. So I grabbed this, and this is um, listed in my shop for sale right now. Um, you know, it's just kind of janky a little bit back here. But other than that, you know, it's, it's in pretty good shape. Um... This I thought you guys might find interesting, which I found this, which it's listed as a salesman sample, but it's not actually a salesman sample. What they would do is say like, okay, you want to get um, your brother a nice hat. Um, you would go to the shop, um, you would pay for it, 
um, and then you would get this little guy right here and you would present it to him and he would take this maybe there was a certificate or something attached to it and um, he would get and pick out and have his hat sized so I don't exactly know what you would call it but a lot of times they're listed as salesman samples but this one is in really good condition so it's just like a little miniature favor I guess and it is in pretty good condition and it's just like a plastic so like a little plastic top hat but I just thought it was too neat so I grabbed it little tiny hat box with the hat and this if you watched if you watched my um, shop with me video this last one I picked this up for five dollars right here and I'm trying not to get a glare on the glass but it's basically just a piece of fabric the little girl named Stella um, just hand stitched I guess she was probably learning how to do this and she um, you know did ABC with some little stars the year that she did it which was 1879 and her name and I just thought it was too cute somebody framed it and five bucks so I thought that was a good deal um, these I actually found on separate occasion um, they were two different vendors and it's basically just a vintage brass um, inkwell it's got like a little dip here where you can you know put like paper clips or whatever else you want to and then it's got the glass inkwell and just a few a few steps down I found this guy which looks like they were meant for each other actually this guy right here doesn't that look like they were made for each other <laughs> so anyways I grouped them together and listed them together in my shop so but they look like they were meant to go on the you know go together in the same same listing to me so I grabbed them both this guy right here is a vintage hat stand and I've got my my beaver top hat but this right here and I think I paid like I don't know twelve dollars for this but it's a neat stand and it kind of you know it can it's like a thin wire so it's kind of squishy a little bit so it will fit you know any type of hat that you want to put on it but it's nice it's got a really pretty detailed base so I grab that and I'm gonna see what you guys are talking about fancy yes it's fancy I love fancy <laughs> Elderly Poodle, your husband loves everything I find. Well, that's good. Is he watching? <laughs> Is he subscribed? Oh, Stephanie, or not Stephanie, Rachel, your husband's a hat guy? Oh, yeah, he would probably like to stay in there. Oh, Max, you have three? Three beaver top hats? I was happy just to find one. I was ecstatic and believe it or not I mean I got it for like 30 or 35 dollars I mean that's like crazy so but yeah anyways guys this is just a itty bitty um, but I thought it was worth grabbing it's just a little tag you know like a well not a tag what do you call it key fob keychain but it's um, Quaker State like a motor oil Keychain, which I thought, you know, guys out there would probably enjoy this, especially if you like automotive, automotive, vintage, things like that. But this would be cool to have on your keychain. And I don't, I, I didn't pay that much for it. Um, gosh, I got all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> My kind of gross things that I like. Um, <laughs> I'll share with you anyways. Um. You know those old stereo views, you know, that you kind of hold and, and it, you know, the card sits in it and you can look at these pictures. Um, well, <laughs> you know, there's one 
stereo view card. I don't know if you can see it with the glare. But yeah, there's an example of syphilis. <laughs> and then we have another example of syphilis. Well, that one's not showing up too good. Let me take it out of the package. These are old medical slides. And she got some serious funkage going on on her face right there. So you don't want syphilis. Not if you're going to look like this. That's for sure. So anyways, I got those creepy medical things because I like that kind of stuff. And I found this guy right here, which it's an oldie. I think it's an antique. It's, um, it's like a tin litho Easter egg kind of thing. But it's um, got like two quart jesters and they're fighting over an egg. And it's in rough shape. But it's still worth money and I'll see if I can't see this is all that's left on here is that right there the rest of it is just all the paint has worn off but it's definitely an antique piece it would have been like probably you know the Victorian area but I thought it was cool just because you know I love clowns well I always correct that certain types of clowns Bozo the Clown, stuff like that, I ain't into that. But, you know, like the old antique clowns, like Schoenhill clowns, things like that, I love. So, I got that. I thought it was cool. And I did find a few things, actually, at my Goodwill, which is very unusual. Um, this, I would call it a cloche, but it's not necessarily a cloche. I would assume that this was probably like this, and it had a candle or something in it, and this part right here sat down inside of, you know, a holder or case or whatever, and you would have had, you know, a candle in here. But I'm going to use it like this and put one of my little um, porcelain dolls or cupid dolls or something like that inside of it, and I got it for $1.99. So. I'm going to use that, and it's really cool because it's got that little ruffling on the edges down there at the bottom. And then I got this. I found this there, which I thought, normally, I mean, I pass things like this up all the time because I get them, and then I just kind of sit, in, sit on them in the shop unless there's something unique about them. But I think I paid $2.99 for this at Goodwill, and it doesn't have any chips or cracks or anything like that. No, no crazy either that I noticed. But I liked it because of the scalloping and because of the shape of it. And um, it does have this on the bottom of it. And I am unsure what that is, but it says USA. But I've not seen that mark before, so I don't know. But yeah, you're probably right. It's probably going to be a spring thing. I'll probably sit on it for a little bit. But I don't know. I just I thought it was neat because, you know, the ribbing and how it has the scalloped scalloped edge. Okay, now this is kind of a creepy item, <laughs> but I thought I'd share it with you anyways. So, we're all into gaining more knowledge. I spent probably, I don't know, it's been, it was hours because I got a lot of, um, I, I don't know, I guess you would call them surgical instruments, but they're like the mortician's instruments, what they would use to actually embalm somebody. So I, I had a bunch of those, and I had no clue what I had. No clue. Um, this was one of the things that I could not figure out what it was. Um, so finally, after much research, um, this guy right here is a gun. It's a needle gun. And this is, they would have loaded um, these little pin needles um, with the wire string on it and I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this very well or he whatever but listen you hear that this is what they would use to shoot those needles and the pin needles in with the, the wire to keep the mouth shut before they did the embalming process 
So, little tidbit of information. And believe it or not, something like this, you can get like $50 for it or more, depending. I mean, sometimes up to $70. So, yes, it's gross. And yes, it's kind of creepy. But, money. <laughs> money, money. So, and um, another, well, this isn't so bad. But this is another funeral item. I got a load of these, um, and these are basically the same concept like my last live I did where I showed you guys the, um, and it was like purple, it was an infant, um, the glass was busted on it, but it had like the purple cross on it. This, um, these are like temporary, temporary markers until the headstone comes. And he had a ton of them. And these things are heavy duty. I don't know if they're made of steel or what. But it has um, an area on the back here that you unscrew. And you can take it apart where you can put all of the dates and, um, you know, the, the name and everything on it. So I've literally got a whole stack of these right here. And then the big container that's got all of the numbers, the letters and everything. So I don't know. I may just list it in my shop and say, hey, make your own personalized, <laughs> make your own personalized headstone. I don't know, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'll let them figure it out for themselves. And these, they're just a pair of vintage baby shoes. Um... Yeah, Halloween decor. I'm seeing some of this popping up here, but I'm not seeing all of it. So, yeah, I would be good Halloween decor, actually. I never even thought about that. But um, these shoes. Um, who wanted to be a mortician? So, per oh, no way. You wanted to be a mortician? It takes a special breed to do that, and I just can't see you. You're, well... Though, the mortician does have to take a very caring role because they're taking care of this person and, um, you know, they have to deal with the family and stuff. So, yeah, I can see that. I can see that you would, because you're a nurse, so. That makes sense. But still a little creepy. Um, these I found in the funeral home's attic. Don't have a clue why they were in the attic whose they were, but they're just, um, you know, a pair of little baby shoes. Um, so I listed them and put them in the shop. Um, you know, I have no information as to why the baby shoes were in the attic amongst all the other things, but they were, so I grabbed them. Oh, and someone from Liverpool, New York, who sent me some of the wax stamps. They mailed me a gift. And I wanted to share it with you because they know me very, very well. Um, they basically found these while they were thrifting. And they thought of me. And, <laughs> you'll see why in a second. <laughs> right here. I don't know how well that's coming off to you. But it says, it's by Champion, which I know Champion is a company that supplies, you know, um, morticians. But it's got different instances of mortuary practice, like in burn cases, um, in restoration, um, and also in facial cancer, um, you know, and what you would do as far as like wax blending and stuff to try to bring back the features and make them look good for, you know, family viewing. But these must have been, um, you know, something that someone who was in college to be a mortician would have been, you know, hi Jeff, and I'm not seeing, I don't know, elderly poodle, you're still here, okay. Um, but yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> so thank you, you know who you are. You did not want to be mentioned, so. Um, yes, I love it. I was ecstatic when I opened the package and I seen it. So, guys, um, let me see. I know I got other stuff. Oh, 
I wanted to share this with you. It's not anything that I thrifted or anything, but occasionally I get the bug to create something. Um, and, you know, I just look around at what I got and go, for, go from there. So I don't know how well this is going to come off, but it's just a little tiny cloche with a cork. And I threw some moss and grabbed a stick out of the yard. Let me see. I'll take this off. And I have a bunch of um, butterflies and moths and things like that that I keep. And I just kind of made my own little um, nature scene, <laughs> as you will. So this was my latest project that I did. And, okay guys, I'm going to have to switch over this way. Now, I got this a while ago, and I forgot to show you guys. I'm not really into pottery, um, but this I couldn't pass up because of that. <laughs> you know, that was the whole thing for me. It, it looks like a boxer or something, maybe. And, uh... I just had to have it because of that, because I thought it was just really cool. And I don't really know what this would have been used for. It's like a large pitcher. And it's got this bird on the back of it, too. And it doesn't have any cracks or anything like that. And I just thought it was really neat just because of that. Just so whimsical, and that's what I'm drawn to. So I grabbed it. And if you watched me, if you watched me thrift at mocha mousse cafe um i ended up buying this <laughs> i couldn't pass it up this time she ended up giving it to me for i think 12 or 13 dollars for this planner it is in excellent condition and um actually it's already sold so i gotta pack it up and send it out tomorrow and um anyways i just thought it was really cute so i grabbed it in excellent condition. And this is another thing that I don't know whether or not I shared with you guys or not. I know I shared it on Instagram, but this is an old horse trophy um, right here. And you're used to seeing the silver um, trophies, but this one is copper, which I thought was kind of unusual. I haven't really seen any copper trophies before. But it says July 1854. Horse show, fine, fine harness, something like that. But yeah, it's uh, like a really pretty gold color. So I got that. And I can't remember, I think I probably paid 35 to $40, something like that for it. But those trophies are awesome to mix in your um, vintage displays. This guy right here I thought was cool. I picked him up. Just because he's just a cutie. He's just whimsical. And he's got written on his leg. I don't think you're going to be able to tell really well. But it's a policeman. He's got his little badge and his little stick. But um, it's a brandy container. And uh, he's in perfect condition, and I just loved his face. I just thought his face was cute. That's all it takes for me to grab something. <laughs> really, that's it. And this lady had two of these little, they're trivets. They're made in Japan, so I know they're old. And they're, they're cast iron, and they're matching little hoo-hoo owls. So I grabbed these. I think they were like $7 a piece, which is kind of pricey, but I have not run into, into any owl trivets before, so I ended up buying them. And this was another thing I grabbed just because I have not seen it before. I've seen these gals many times before, so yeah, I told you it was going to happen. It just happened. Gotta love the country. But it's 
okay. I'm not, I'm sorry. I told you it was going to happen. I live out in the country, so it stuff happens. But anyways, yeah, she's got a damaged butt, too. Her little butt's been... Her right butt cheek is bashed in. But I thought she was cute, just for the plain fact that she's got, you know, she's got her jewelry still. So I grabbed her. And these guys right here were really cool, which you guys are probably going to think I'm nuts, but I like, I like weird stuff. And I got a whole bag of these guys. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> it reminds me of um, like a gorilla like King Kong or something like that. Um... But they're just like an old novelty toy. Um, I don't know. They may have been from the 60s or 70s. But they got the little hanger on them. And I got one of them hanging um, from my rearview mirror. <laughs> yeah, Planet of the Apes. Definitely. Yeah, my husband loves Planet of the Apes. I love King Kong. So... And these I just actually got in the mail today. I ordered them over a month ago. And they came from um, out of the country. So these are French. And I will show you one at a time. There's this one. And there is this one. And basically, they are, um, it is from France. Um, if you noticed, you couldn't read them. <laughs> They're written in French. And um, they were basically cemetery plaques, um, you know, that would have been right there by the grave of the deceased. And the way it works there, which I explained to you guys in my last live, is the same way it worked over in Germany with my family. If there um, is no living relative to continue to pay and do upkeep or whatever on the plot, then they're out of there. So, um, and if they're able to get a hold of a family member, then these, all thrift kitten. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. <laughs> I just noticed somebody saying hi to you. But, yeah, so these end up turning up at, um, you know, flea markets and stuff in uh, France. Um, you know, if a family member is not found to give them to. So, anyways, I got two of them. And I have been waiting patiently um, for these. And when they came today, I was so excited. So, I got these two. And I've already got one for myself that I'm going to keep that's um, more of like a flaming heart. So, um, I'm going to offer these in my shop because I can't be, I can't keep everything, unfortunately. And I got a bunch, I got a bunch of these from the funeral home. Um, which, you know, they would have been something that they used during the funeral, you know, fans basically um but they just kind of fold out they're like a three-piece cardboard fan and i got a bunch of those and i thought they were pretty so i grabbed them it's got like an image of a church and stuff on it and how i missed this when i went to the funeral home the first time i have no idea considering the color. Look at the color on this. It's like a neon orange yellow color. But <clears throat> this is an old bottle of embalming fluid. New old stock, never used. Um, still has the label and everything on. Right here I'll show you. But it's got the instructions on it and everything. 
and on the back, it's the the glass is embossed with Hyzol or Hyvis or is it Hyvis? What is it? Hydrol, Hydrol. That's what's in them on the back of it. Anyways, I just thought it was too cool. So I grabbed this. And there was some other ones that I found too, but they were, um, you know, they were empty, um, had some label damage and stuff like that, but they weren't anything like this. This is like a pristine example. And I'm seeing around here if there's anything. Oh, yeah, crap. It's right here in front of me. These. <laughs> Reserve for funeral. These are like a newer one. Um, this bottom piece right here, you know the orange cones that you see when they do construction or whatever? Um, this would have sat down in there and then used this to reserve parking for funeral for a family and friends. So I got four of these. That's what they had left. And I found this guy, believe it or not. <laughs> Look how big it is. It's an old 35 millimeter film reel. Um, and I'm trying to see if I can find where the information was on here. Denver, Colorado, made in the USA. Golden Brothers or Goldberg, Goldberg Brothers. But believe it or not, I got this guy for like 25, somewhere between 25 and $30. And the only one I could find in comparison when that was this big um, was going for like $25. So I think I scored on this one. Um, but yeah, so if any anybody that, you know, likes like film buff or they have a theater room or anything like that. That would be awesome, awesome wall decor. Okay. Now I think, I think that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the camera off of the stand here. <laughs> and I'm going to show you um, a coffin light, an embalming table, and a funeral sign. Um, so here we go, guys. Let's see. Hopefully this works. And I don't know how well the lighting is going to be. But, okay. We're walking over here. And my son tests it out. And he says it's really comfortable, actually. Which one? Okay, so let me switch. I don't know if I can switch. Let me see. I'll go this way. Oh, this? This is very uncomfortable. Oh, it is uncomfortable? <laughs> now, if you're laying on your back, it's really comfortable. I'll okay, guys. Um, I don't know how to do this, but this is the head portion of it. Right here. Um, you know, this right here, it's got like a hinge, and it lowers down into this of it. But I don't know. If you look here... It's been resurfaced. It's like a leather top, and it's got all of this leather, um, what do you want to call it? I guess they're furniture tacks or something like that, holding it down. They did an excellent job. And I don't know if it was an originally this way or if it was like a repair kind of thing. Um, but let me walk over this way. Okay. I don't know how well you're seeing this. Man, I'm just stinky with the camera. It's because I'm trying to do it from the opposite view. Wait a minute. Okay. Look down. Where are we at? I'm sorry, guys. Okay. There we go. There's the head of it. Can you see what, I can, see what I'm showing them? What am I showing them? <laughs> This I'm that. Okay, so they can see that. What are you trying to show them? I'm trying to show them the whole table, and it's just not working out very well. Um, if you aim it down here, I think you have a... Have a yeah, but I don't know. These are the legs and stuff. 
I'm doing a really crappy job. But the legs are, are gorgeous. And it folds up. So, anyways, I don't know. It's an antique. I don't know how old it is. I'm thinking maybe it might have been, because I can't find an example, maybe it was one of those wicker ones where maybe the wicker, um, you know, had, had gotten busted one way or another. And they had it um, reupholstered and, uh, you know, refinish. But I put multiple coats of... Um, leather moisturizer on it and then kind of um, tried to moisturize the wood and stuff too but it's actually in excellent condition so and this guy right here that I have sitting on here this case right here this case Down a little bit. has got the funeral light in it and Look at these pink bulbs. And I don't know what kind of light that would have given off, I guess. Uh, black light, probably. No, I don't think so. I just think that they did it to maybe give a softer look or something. But look at the inside of it. The inside of it, the uh, actual fabric is pink. And the bulb is frosted pink also. And here's the top. And then it's got the hooks right here where it would have hooked onto the coffin or casket or whatever. And, um, you know, had the lighting, you know, pointed down on the head of the deceased. Now, one thing that's actually kind of interesting, which I'll show you, is this right here, which it doesn't look like much. But this was in here, and it kind of reminds me of, like, battery cables or something. But if you look right here, these are on the end of it. And um, <laughs> for instances where there were homes that hadn't actually had um, electricity, they would have to hook this up. Um, to some kind of power source um, so they could use you know the light but there's extra bulbs and stuff in here too so here's another pink frosted bulb in here but I grabbed it just because it's not something that you run across every day that's for sure but one thing you don't want to ask them, you haven't told them you got it the whole cow at the back of your car <laughs> Yeah. She a whole cow from a farm. <laughs> yeah, that's another discussion. Okay, and then this you've probably been seeing in the background. I actually just, somebody just bought this yesterday. Um, it's in pristine condition. It's an old no parking sign. Um, and it says Ollinger which on it, which would have been the funeral home name. So, um, it's excellent. Uh, I mean, it's awesome piece. Um, somebody got a really good, good deal here, um, because the ones that I got were not in horrible shape at all. They were kept in either the attic or the basement, so they were kept out of the weather, and they just, I mean, just almost like, you know, pristine, new, new type of thing. So, I gotta try to figure out how to pack this thing and get it out in the mailbox. They, they want you to try that light. Oh, next live, I don't know, something like that. What did you guys say? They wanted something about the light. Oh, the light. No. It's got one of those old cords. Um, you know, like the old electric that they used to have in the house. And, um, anyways, it is scary looking. <laughs> the end of it is scary looking. I would think if you wanted to use it, you would probably have to have it rewired. Um, because I would be afraid that I would get the crap shot out of me trying to use it. But anyways, yeah. Um, what my son was talking about, which I'll have to show you another time. I'm in my kitchen right now. Um, I went out with my, um, my two sons and his friend and we went on, um, they have like 80 something acres. That's where I've 
filmed cows for you guys before, but, um, anyways, they went, you know, target shooting and that, and we ran into, um, two cow <laughs> skeletons, um, full skeletons, the head, spine, everything, everything's there, everything was there, and, of course, me, it was, like, a shopping trip, um, <laughs> you guys think I'm here. <laughs> but anyways, if I got pulled over by the cops right now for like speeding or something, uh, you can see out of my rear view, there's like bones, <laughs> bones, um, like stacked up. Um, because you know, they had a few, um, cows disappear and they didn't know what happened to them. You know, because it happens occasionally when you've got that many cows, but I found them <laughs> and I ended up, um, you know, salvaging when I could, which, I mean, I got a lot of spine and, you know, that it, kind it's of stuff. Still in contact. It's still in contact because it looks like the burglar yeah. on it had them falling apart. Well, you want to go out there and grab the one that's still intact so we can sure. show them? <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, um, the one time I took... I'm going to put some gloves on. I don't want to get... <laughs> the one time I took my kids to do this before I wasn't with them because they had another adult supervising them. He came home with a jawbone and a, a leg bone, and um, I was ecstatic. And I was like, you know what to get your mom. That's <laughs> so all you got to do is wander through the forest and find animal bones and things like that. And, and I'm a happy little camper. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to try to get a better view here of this table. I'm getting so low, so. And I am really stinking at it. I'm showing you everything but. but anyways I just thought the legs and stuff were really really pretty and really neat it's just amazing to me that it's was in their attic for that many years and it's you know it's lasted this long and it's about 74 inches long, I guess. So, anyways. My son is going outside and grabbing some cow bones. <laughs> He's going to bring in a few pieces and show it to you cuz he thinks I'm he thinks I'm weird. Just the right size for a side table during the holidays? I don't know. I don't think I would want to eat my food off of that. <laughs> Knowing what it was used for previously, so. Come on, Jess. What'd you do? I just wanted the one. It fell apart. Oh, it did? Yeah, and apparently it, when it, it decided to fall apart. Well, maybe because it thawed out. Probably. <laughs> there he goes. He come back in with it. Hold it up, Jess, so they can see it. It's already falling apart. This is starting to... Oh, okay. Well, here. Let's see if I can get a shot. There you go, guys. There's the whole spinal cord. And the uh, tailbone. <laughs> and it's got, uh, you know, it's still got, it's got like uh, algae growth and stuff like that on it, but I don't know. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, I'm strange, but <laughs> I don't know. I just love natural nature kind of things, and I, I kind of consider that kind of along the same lines it's um you know it's something you would see in a museum i think um and i've always been attracted to that kind of stuff it's turned upside down oh yeah well anyways i hope you enjoyed my video um thanks for being here and i'm going to see i'm moving over this way now let me see what else we got here if we got any people let's get away from my face 
Oh, the overstuffed house. Hi. Oh, yeah. Give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Thank you for suggesting that. Uh -oh. Alan Butterfly Nurse was here. Bergen Pines. Thank you. Jennifer Lab Mama. Hello. And I don't know if I'm missing anybody else, guys. I'm sorry if I am. Vintage Thrifted Treasures. I just seen that. Hello. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to get off of here. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know if it was too much of a train wreck, but... <laughs> At Monday evening, you know, you got a little entertainment anyway, so I'll see you guys later and thank you so much for watching, hanging out with me and seeing my weird finds. So till next time guys, see you later. Thank you. Bye.